Over the weekend, Elon Musk asked his followers a loaded question. Should he sell 10% of his stock in Tesla as a rebuke to critics who say he hoards wealth through unrealized capital gains? Surprised, they said yes. 58% of respondents voted yay. And according to Musk, that means it's a done deal. He vowed to abide by the poll's results. Stock in Tesla, a company worth over $1 trillion, has made Elon Musk the world's richest person with a net worth of over $300 billion. As Musk himself pointed out, he does not take a cash salary or bonus from Tesla, meaning the lion's share of his personal wealth goes untaxed unless he sells stock. That's a lot of money. So what, he would get $30 billion bucks? Right, and, <laughs> but, and that's, the, that's the point, though. If he doesn't sell stock then he doesn't pay taxes. But obviously he, I mean, he doesn't live a very lavish lifestyle, but he, you know, he, does, he does spend money. So in order to get that money, he has to get it from somewhere. And the way that most billionaires get it is they go to the bank and they take their stock certificates and they say, here's collateral uh, for a loan. I would like a, a, a nice 0% interest loan. Uh, and the bank is like, sure, here's 0% because we'd love to do, you know, whatever merger acquisition that uh, or te Tesla's going to be thinking of in the future, we'd love to be the ones that are getting the fees. So, so of course, we're going to take care of a VIP and give him a nice little uh, low interest loan. So his, his point there is, is making his critics point, actually. Well, I saw it, I saw him as conceding the critics' point, right? Yeah. He was just he was saying, "Yeah, you're right. I don't. This is the only way <laughs> right. that I could pay taxes." So, but it was it was a little. It's a little. It, I mean, he's he's a mercurial figure. I don't know. Right. You, you know. don't know exactly what he intends also, by anything. Tesla might be at a high. This is he probably wanted people to say yes. Right. Maybe so, yeah. Actually, make that money. So now he can sell it, and people won't be like, "Whoa, should we worry about Tesla?" Oh, you think it's right. a it's a game? Right. It's, uh, this is how he gets to sell it without looking like he's panicked about yeah. that how inflated the stock is and yeah. trying to cash out. Although I, I think that the projections for Tesla are much higher than where they're at right now. Actually, for sure. I mean, it could, it could uh, keep just going to the moon or Mars, actually. <laughs> yeah, right to yes. Mars. Um, but I, I do maybe Elon is planning on selling in order to give some of that money to the to feed the hungry. That's right. right? He's going mean, to end world hunger. Maybe, or well, at least uh, attempt to, uh, you know, to feed 46 million people this year. But yeah, I mean, maybe he perhaps will be donating a lot of that money. And again, when you donate money to causes, then that is not taxed um, in the same way. And so, you know, we'll see what he ends up doing. But yeah, I mean, he's obviously a very wealthy person. I mean, look, $30 billion, it's like, how many yachts do you need? Right. So you might as well give some of that to taxes and you're still really, really wealthy when it's yeah. all said and done. Well, I don't know. The government doesn't get to decide how many yachts you need. That's yes, uh, in up fact, to, the government does. Uh, well, I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it. I won't, I won't tell You'll anyone like how many yachts they're entitled to. <laughs> I have zero yachts, but it doesn't matter that I feel how entitled to want, one more Robbie? than I have. No, no, yeah. no person should have their second yacht until every person has their first. OK. I, how, who so could argue? That? Can, that's Confucius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. At that rate, how much money will the government get? From his taxes, will they get half of that thirty billion? No, it would be it would be long term capital gains, which is what, fifteen percent. So twenty, yeah, yeah. So about four, four or five. Uh, but if he just donates, a it mere all, four or five billion for our government. Right. Oh yes, we're so, we're truly starving the beast at this rate. So if he just donates it all to the World Food Program, they, then they get zero. So that's why well, I'd rather he do that. Yeah. yeah. Just give it directly well, to the needy. So. Why does the government need their cut? They're not going to do anything. Give it to the Clinton I Foundation. <laughs> they only need uh, six to eight billion dollars. Isn't that what that is? So I think he would still get quite a bit, <laughs> even if he gave money to feed the hungry. Yeah, what is the long term uh, capital gain rate? I don't even know. I don't know either. I forgot. It's not yeah. zero, I, but uh, that's where some of us would have it. But. All right, we will figure this out. Well, we'll get back to the audience on that. But tomorrow on Rising, Arizona Congressman Ruben Gallego joins us. And, of course, Team Rising will be in the house to discuss the biggest news of the day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a video. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. See you then.